grand final against the uh, great team of Hawthorne and umpire Shim puts it down Burke won the first knockout the game to bring it away Geelong as Buse crashes through the centre on the left boot he ever job on Ablett and it uh, didn't take any longer than 19 seconds for me to say Ablett and he's got the football and he rams it in towards goal and this is the start that Geelong wanted the first blood on the ball at Geelong and Dermot Brown in his lane flat on his back in the centre of the ground and the trainers rush from everywhere 50 minutes from play Brown's down what a magnificent start Ron Barassi well I'm not sure Dermot's going down uh, is magnificent certainly controversial I didn't uh, see a thing I was down the other end of the eyes uh, the ground with my eyes watching Ablett uh, get the first goal a magnificent piece of work and uh, Geelong could not have asked for a better start but it is going to be super fiery one can see that the trainers are getting around uh, the great man Dermy, and Dermy is often off to the side watching the opposition trainers gather around his victims but today it appears that he's been the victim of someone who's hit and I think it may have been noticed by Alan Martello that uh, a certain player Alan hasn't got a microphone we can't say it, it's illegal OK, Dermot Brereton is on his feet he, he, he looks sicker than a fish that's been out of the water for half a fortnight and Dermot Brereton is sick and if this doesn't fire up Hawthorne nothing will Shelter's down there being remonstrated with by Dunstall we have Madigan lighting up on the boundary line and limping to the forward pocket is Dermot Brereton as the ball goes into the air again it was knocked out by Deer knocked on further afield by Burke of Geelong Starnham gets a touch but there's a free kick to Hawthorne and Peter Curran will take this free kick for Hawthorne but it will go to Debbie and Amenico but the time on has been called and the football will be relayed back to Curran of Hawthorne Oh, what a start. Two minutes into this first quarter, 1989 BFL Grand Final. Well, that's what you call a case of getting in first. There's no question about that. And uh, once again, Malcolm Blight still on the honours. Doesn't matter whether you like it or not. That's what he's done. It's two and a half minutes into the quarter. Geelong have kicked a goal from the boot of Ablett. It's back with Curran in the centre of the ground. He's going to kick it long and he goes wide. Over towards the Hattle side of the ground. Uh, struggling there. Dunstall, he's taken the mark. Dunstall out for Nuba. Darcy, a little bit of tit for tat, in a sense. The two great forwards, Ablett has kicked his goal, maybe Dunstall will kick his, and Dermot Brereton down in the goal square, looking as flat as the proverbial night card as that, we might as well say it early as late, and there he is, very dazed Brereton, wandering around down there, and Dunstall with the ball coming off the 50 metre mark, at three minutes in, and Dunstall puts it on its way, and it's a goal, that's another goal, that's a, in three minutes and ten seconds, the two Great forwards, Dunstall and Ablett, have each kicked the goal. That's the score on the 3RW FAI insurance scoreboard. And for the first time during the call, here's 3RW Sam Newman. Well, Dunstall's obviously been hit in the stomach because they were uh, examining his midriff there. He's down in the forward pocket and heaven help Geelong if he makes a recovery. Well, it's back in the centre of the ground for the bounce. Three and a half minutes into the grand final. Umpire putting it down. It's umpire Shin. He whacks it into the centre of the ground. Deer is up there and Burke. And Burke got the tap and a delayed action effort. Out to deep here. Domenico falling on the ball. He's hit by everybody. Back it goes to Burke. Picks it up. Kicks it wide. It's going to be intercepted by Kennedy. No mark paid. Pants it out to Pritchard. Pritchard centre wing. Kicking it back towards full four.